Hello and good morning. This is Esther from Stampin' Star Creations. So this morning I thought I'd hop on because I've got a few cards that I needed to make and part of my New Year's resolution for my crafting is to try and use up my scraps. So if you are a fellow crafter, you will understand that scraps accumulate, you use bits of paper but you don't use all of it up or you have run through some um, die cutting shapes, you might have had some punched shapes, you've got experiments that you've played with. So all these things tend to accumulate and I've been a bad girl and have had um, a box of scraps accumulating and I will show you that in just a second. Good morning there Jenny, thank you for your company. Do say hello if you're hopping on live with me, it's great to have your company. Hi Kay and Karen. Karen, is it Karen or Karen? I'd love to know. So um, I bit the bullet, hi there Jackie, and I sorted through my box of scraps. In fact, I sat in front of the television and did it. Sometimes I think jobs you put off and put off and realise actually they're not so bad after all. It's a matter of just getting on and doing it. So I've got a, a thin set of three drawers and this is one of the boxes that are in the drawers. It's nice and empty now. There's a few bits in the bottom, but um, they're mainly sorted out in there. The Dutch version of Karen. So do you pronounce it Karen or do you say it Karen? <laughs> I like to get people's names right. So I'm now going to turn you around and show what I've done to sort out my scraps. Um, and my resolution, like I said, is to hopefully not create so many more scraps to actually try and use things up more. Now I have made some cards already, but I've put them away for the year. Again, I'm feeling super organised. Good morning, Barbara. Hi there from, from Australia. And I bought this Constantina file, which I picked up at a charity shop. And um, my aim this year, look, I've even labelled them up with the months and I'm hoping to be really super, super organised and get birthday cards already in my box. So as I'm making the cards, I think, oh, who's that suitable for? I can give that to them. The last with an I instead of an E. So Car Karen, is it Karen then? <laughs> it's been ages just getting your name right. Um, Oh yes, this is what I wanted to show you as well. So let me turn the camera around and we'll get started. I'm hoping we're going to get some cards made um, today. So I've got these really handy um, tabs that I've picked up from our um, pound, pound shop store. So if you're in America, you might have a dollar store or, you know, I'm sure somewhere local would just have these little baskets. You usually get two for a pound. And they're just great for my craft. I use them all the time for my classes and they're great for sorting out scraps. Um, this is one I made a while ago and I got all these little bits and pieces and I stuck them on the card. So um, I love this card. It's such a, I love it because it's just got all these bits and pieces which were lost. What I call lost pieces, which I've put together on a card. So all I need to do now is obviously mount this onto a piece of card. I'm just going to grab something out. To, to turn it into a natural card and I just think once that's mounted on a piece of coloured card I just really like it because there's so much to look at it's got so much interest now not all my scrap cards are like this but I just wanted to show you that all those little bits and pieces might go in the bin but you can actually use them um thank you Kay Kay says it's a real treat seeing you this morning thank you lovely to see you too so the way I've sorted out in my boxes is as follows and it's rather than kind of going colour order, I've realised that should be in that one, um, I've kind of gone in size initially so this helps rather than, um, I mean you might want to eventually sort this into colour, it's up to you how you sort your scraps. Um, so I've got bigger pieces of plain card and, and paper here um, which I've put in this box here so you might have card blanks that you intended to use, excuse me, or might have stamped on but didn't use. I've, I've got one box of, of that. Then my next box I've tried to use for um, backgrounds. So um, I've any kind of even little um, pieces like this but any kind of background pieces. Hi there Sheila I'm working and working in caps. You're not shouting you're just working in capital letters. <laughs> so any kind of um, background, what I call background pieces that will be great to use. Um, I'm going to put some of these smaller ones at the front. Um, so great for background pieces. 
or cards and experiments. You, I mean, some of these just need to get mounted onto card. That, you know, be ready for stamping on. So that, that's what's in there, okay? So you've got your cards, you've got some background pieces here. Then I'm going smaller, and I did try and do a lot of cutting, and I even did a lot of fussy cutting. Again, just sat in front of the telly doing this. So um, I had some of these, I mean, these are just ready to go, but they just end up in the scrap drawer and they don't get used. I mean, something like that could probably go in that box. So again, you know, just element, bigger elements that are ready to be a focal point on your card that just didn't end up on a previous card. Um, I fussy cut around that and, you know, just bits and bobs like that. So I'll just, look, again, Mr. Snowman, I fussy cut around him. He's ready to, to mount and go now, really. So these are just the kind of medium-sized bits and pieces that uh, make a nice focal point for your card. So this last box here is those little die cuts, the shapes, um, snowflakes and leaves. And I love this guy. I keep coming across him and I haven't used him on a card yet. So... Um, I'm here to, oh, and yet another bag, sorry, another bag of just cut out shapes, circles, sometimes I prep for classes or use a card and don't actually put it together, sometimes you might cut out a circle um, from a scenery that was a bigger card, so I've got circles and shapes in that one there. Okay, I started having a quick play and I thought, oh, actually I'm going to come on here and try and make some cards with you. So the way that I started to do this is to go to this box here, grab a focal point and then work with it and try and grab some elements from the other boxes to see if we can make up a card. Um, and as you can see, I've started working on this one. So I started with, I think, the elephant. And I, I used a die cut shape to cut out the square. This was an experiment I was doing with using Stampin' Blends to colour the elephant. I had this circle here, which I thought, would go great with this background which is like a sunset and I could just tuck that behind so you don't see the the flat bottom or you can use it as the flat and then I wanted to incorporate some more colours and a background card so again kind of going to each box so it's quite handy to have your separate boxes so you can use all the different sizes you might need to incorporate into a card so this will probably need cutting down the other thing that I have and I, I need to sort out is a box of blank card like this, which is great. So I can just grab out some card. Look, I am running out of certain colours here. I'm going to grab a... Now this might not be quite the right colour. We can... The great thing about this is you can kind of swap and change and choose what colour you might um, want. So I might... Mm, purple's a bit dark. So this process, it takes time, but I've loved the cards that I've managed to achieve using... Um, Let's go for the red, I think. It's just a matter of mixing and matching what you've got. So I think I'm going to go for this. And I'm not sure of that purple strip now. So let's work with this because I want to show you the process. Now for this, my mini trimmer has been amazing, she says, and I've lost it. <laughs> it was here a minute ago. My desk is so full of stuff at the moment. Everything is getting a bit slowed under. Here it is. So this card is obviously the size of a card, so I need to just trim this down. I tend to eyeball things. I'm not actually too specific about measuring. Because you can always trim away. There you go. So I'm going to mount it on there. And then, yes, it creates more scraps, but that will then go in. I've got a bag of strips. You could chuck that away. I mean, if, if you really want, you could chuck it away. But that could pop into my bag of strips. So with this um, background here, I use these creating some um, pigment sprinkles. So they're like powdered... Uh, paint basically which when it reacts to water and I've used it on some sherry card and created this amazing um, kind of sunset background so I'm just going to tear off the bottom I'm not going to bother trimming that okay it's too big um, Karen says I have my bases cut and organised in the colour families but I find all scraps very difficult bite the bullet Karen and just get those scraps sorted I think if once you sort them into size it really helps so I might even 
lob a bit off at the mm, I like the I want the top to be yellow so I'm just gonna keep so these little scraps I won't keep I'm gonna chuck those because it's just not really worth she says and I'm thinking oh do I need them <laughs> I'm just gonna leave them on my desk just in case so remember your focal point um in this case is my elephants and then think about where you're going to put your other elements so I don't really want I want because I want the elephants to be the focal point this big yellow circle might be a bit too big so I'm just going to grab out my shapes and see what I've got here I have got another smaller yellow one here So I wanted the impression of a sun and then I've got these gold leaves here which I might come back to. So let me just see if I've got anything here which resembles kind of reddy orangey colour. So I've got that strip there, I've got some yellow there. So once you start you can kind of think about what colours you want to incorporate in your card. You don't want to add like stick to a colour palette you don't want to have like loads introduce loads of new colour so I'm going to have a look in my background box see if there's anything I can just um, cut down into a strip or if there's anything suitable in here see because there's purple in those elephants I am tempted to use the purpley colour So that can cover the tear of my other ones. I think I'll stick to that purpley colour. And then <clears throat> have a look at my scrap box again. See if there's some elements in here that I want to, to use. It might mean that I pull out a few leaves. They match the elephant nicely. There, I like that. So you can, um, from here, you can add a sentiment if you like. I tend to like leaving these blank and just use them as they are, really. Um, I'm going to get this stuck down because what you don't want to do is leave this to become yet another card that you're not going to use. I want this to be usable. Um, and I want to be be able to make um oh sorry i missed that comment hi Rini from australia welcome are the elephants retired they are from i'll show you what stamp set it's called wildly happy and i've borrowed this off my sister here that's the one so it's a, it's a really cute set and i've um with those elephants, when I was experimenting, I was going to come on and show you uh, what I've done with them, but instead it's ended up in my scrap box and it didn't get um, <laughs> shown you. So this background here that I'm using, I did this with my children. Oh, can you see better now? I made these colourful backgrounds of my children using the um, marbling technique with re-inkers that we use for our ink pads. And um, they were kind of sitting there and I thought, oh, I'm just going to add them to my scrap drawer and get using them. Let's see if I can move that sunshine down a little bit. You've got about 10 seconds wiggle room, so I've just managed to lift it up before sticking down. So I hope you guys are well today. Thank you for letting me know where you're coming in from. So even this, at the back of here, I've done some stamping. So I think that the, the helpful thing I found was to, to start with the focal point. When I was using my scraps, um, find a focal point. Now you might think, oh, well, it's all right for you. You've got some nice scraps. You've got some lovely images. I'm an um, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I get, you know, I've got some lovely bits and pieces to play with. Um, a good place to start might be to colour coordinate your, your scraps. Um, and also, if you don't have, you know, you might not have this image to hand, 
don't feel that you can't not then do some stamping or add some other elements um like I just I cut this out to, to make it work I've been adding um some sentiment stamps to some of my cards but I love the fact that with using up scraps and making cards some scraps is I would have never made this card had it not been for these scraps putting the scraps together so um <clears throat> that that's what I love about this process is that you can come up with something that you would have never come up with before now let's just see if we want to add any more elements to this I think I'm happy with it the way it is I would maybe put a sentiment across there which I can do later I do have a few sentiments in in here but I think I'll just leave that blank for now and it's something that I can add later so let's go on and do another one um, <clears throat> let's put that to the side okay Again, starting with my, do you know what, these, these little um, jars are talking to me and I'm sure somewhere here, I know that I had this would make such a fun kids card. I mean you could even just use one, you might not even need all of them. So just looking at the colours and just grabbing in some colours that will go with it is the aim. In fact, I might, I've just come across a mermaid who might sit nicely on there as well. So that's what happens. You start doing one thing and then you go off on a tangent and find something else. It might work to have a collect, eclectic mix. It might not, but yeah, this is the point where you start grabbing bits and pieces out and seeing what you've got. And you find other things to play with. You're like, oh, what about that? What about that? See, that is the same colour, sort of colours. Now, you might not use it, but it's there to, to play with and use. Let's have a look for some more background. See, that's a pretty background. I like the idea of like a black and white. Okay, that's nice as well. I'm going off on a tangent now. Let's have, let's try and draw it back in. Let's see what we've got. What I do need to do is some masculine cards. Okay, that if we, let's see, that might suit the mermaid. That did actually come from the mermaid card originally. We could have a bit of a sea theme. Those roses might be a bit too heavy for what I want it for. Okay. So let's have a think about this. Let me just give me a second to think. <laughs> I'm, I'm being drawn to this. Let's do something with this. Let's have a look to see what shapes we might have. We've got a nice big, oh, I've got a nice pinky one there. Okay. So I've got my element, which is the mermaid. I've got a shape and I've got a background. So now we're looking to maybe a few more elements to go with it. So I've got a random pink flower there. I've got this heart here, which might be quite pretty. another pink flower I'm going to take that one off so keep adding and taking away let's see what we've got let's have a look for some strips of paper that might just help to soften things a little bit see as you can see I'm going towards the pinky colours now seeing what we've got 
So because my background is quite busy, I don't want anything too busy sitting on the top. I think I'm going to work with that. They're such lovely elements in their own right. Okay. So let me see if I can incorporate this. So I might not even need this strip. And I might not even need that. Now I quite like the black and white contrast of the mermaid. I'm just going to see if I've got anything else to add. Now I've got black and white flower there. And let's see. Now I think I'm happy. With the way that is there, I'm going to stick. Um, let's just have a look at what card we might want it on. We could go a nice bright contrasting blue. Or we could go really girly. Stick to the pinks. Or even... Hmm, I'm thinking maybe the purpley colour. What, what do you reckon for your choice? Have I missed any comments? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I've been so busy looking at my scraps. Um, those elephants are like an Andy Warhol picture. I think that's what I was aiming for. I know there was an artist, um, maybe not Andy Warhol, but other people that have done something similar with lots of um, colour. Yes, Jenny. Make it your, your New Year's resolution like I'm doing. Go through your scraps and use them up. One well, of those bold sentiments would do well with that card. Good idea. Man mostly like half naked women, so the mermaid will do fine. <laughs> Maybe do the heart of the mermaid like she swimming like she's swimming behind it. So put the put the heart in front of the mermaid. Was that what you're saying or behind? Purple, purple, purple. Sorry, I totally missed your comment. Um I like the Bermuda Bay card. So the contrast of the blue, like she's in the sea. Now we could do a double layer. I'm all for double layering. Let's have a look. Okay, let's get her stuck down. I just want to see what it's like on this one here. In front of her, so you see her through the cutout of the heart. Now... How about that? That's a bit less fussy. So you see, um, so you can see her through the cutout of the heart. I don't know if that would work because you lose the kind of shape a little bit. Oh, we like this one instead. So see, you sometimes set your heart on something and then when you kind of move things across, that might mean, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fussy cut. It won't take long. The blue on top. Ah, I see. Like that. I like that. That's a good idea. I'm going to quickly get these poppies cut out because I want to see what these look like. Maybe lying across the page. See, I made these and they've been sat in my drawer for ages. Now, I always feel that you've got to be in the mood for fussy cutting. Now, it helps when you fussy cut to actually just cut the excess off first and then you're not fighting against a whole load of card. And then you're wanting to move your, move your card more than you're moving your scissors. I'm cutting this quickly. Okay. So I wondered about tucking that. I'm 
There, that's nice. I like that. I might get rid of that flower. Let's see if I can get in here. So don't feel that you've got to like chuck everything on your page. Like you can use that flower for something else. I think sometimes you have in mind what you're going to do. But when you use your scraps, just free form with your creativity a bit. And, and don't be so um, tied to what you think you might do. <laughs> Does that make sense? How about the heart over the flowers? I think with the with the heart, it needs to stand alone um, on a, a solid background because the um, the pattern gets lost quite easily. Oh, wh where's that little flower I used, which I discarded? Because that would be now perfect. She says, "I don't know what I've done with it." to bring back and put it in her hair <laughs> it's gone ah oh, here it is okay that's too massive too mahusive but I do have smaller flower so these are different colour Okay, so let's see if we want to incorporate anything in these strips. I think we're good to go. I think this is quite nice, simple. What I might do is this point that I've got ribbon scraps as well. Is this might be an opportunity to grab out some silvery ribbon. That's good how it is. I think so. I think I'm going to leave it as it is. And then let's think about what colour card we want to mount it on. Whether we go back to that pink. Whether that's too much. Or whether we go to the Bermuda Bay. I'm thinking Bermuda. To tone it down a bit. It gets a little bit pink heavy, doesn't it? Okay, let's get sticking. I'm not sure about the flower in there. Now, is that the right size? Yep, yeah, that'll do. Look, again, this is the back of a piece of card that I've not wasted and used for something else. Could have maybe done with a little bit of trimming, but never mind. And to use it. So, what started with those gumballs? ended up with the mermaid <laughs> see what you mean it's just the joy of playing with scraps having a play just letting your creativity go a little bit don't be too kind of tense remember you are creating a card you have never made before or i mean wouldn't have had in mind to make shall i say um because it's you're creating something completely different but oh i've gone and glued the wrong side because I was talking to you. So. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to look for something to help me here. <clears throat> I'm going to dab that off. With a kitchen towel. And let that dry. Um. Somewhere around here, I've got my. I've got to let it dry. I know I do. I've got to let it dry, but because of my impatience, I'm going to stick it down the right side now. So as you can see, I've inked this side. I was experimenting. I inked this side, and it didn't work out. So, oh, I could sprinkle glitter. That's a good idea. Should have thought about that. Let's go and see if I've got some glitter. Now, because I've been tidying up, I've moved everything around. <laughs> Where is my... Is it in there? Hmm. Huh. Where's my drawer and my bits in it? Oh, it's in here now. <laughs> see, that's the trouble with moving things around. Bit 
glitter on there. Let's see if it will stick. There we go. <coughs> Let's give it a little pat down my finger. Oh, sparkly. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? Thanks, Kay. Great suggestion. So with these flowers, I think I want these lifted up a bit. So I'm going to bring on my dimensionals, which aren't where they normally are. Of course they're not, because my desk is so full. Oh, is there any on here? Oh, I found some. So just think about how that's going to sit, so I want that one to be upright a bit as well. So you don't need to chuck everything at your cards. What about the embossing buddy? Good idea. Sorry, I don't have my other device here and I'm missing comments, because once they, once you've commented, they appear off screen and if I don't catch it, I'm not reading it. So, my bad, I'm sorry. Just going to have to keep repeating what you're saying until I listen. <laughs> so I like this idea of it coming around like that. And then I wanted the mermaid. Now, do we want to do anything with the mermaid, as in maybe give her pink hair, I'm thinking? She looks a little bit lacking. Mm, what am I looking for? I'm going to use my Wing Costello, which is like a glitter brush. And I'm going to give her... Use that Wing Costello oh, to give her glittery hair. Mermaids and glitter just go hand in hand, don't they? A blue tail. A flower in her hair. I don't know what I've done with the flower now. Oh, there is. Oh, look, I've just found a goldfish. Maybe we can feature him. I think that'd be quite cute, a goldfish swimming by. And I've got this kind of lily pad flower here, which I might tuck in. Rhinestones or pearls in her hair, that's a good idea. Okay, so are we wanting to leave her tail as it is, or are we going to give that a bit of colour? I think she needs a bit of a Bermuda t Bay tail now. She's coming to life. I'm just going to wipe off my brush a little bit. I don't want it too dark, but we'll just give her a bit of a... She says, and it's come out quite dark. Okay. You lose the heart with more flowers. That is a good point, Karen. Let's see if the fish... Do we need the fish? Does he look a bit odd? <laughs> I quite like the idea of a random fish. <laughs> um, somewhere on my multitude of stuff, I've put the rhinestones. Pearls would be nice, I think, with ditch the fish. Oh, all right. <laughs> 
Maybe just one pearl in her hair. Sometimes less is more. If you know me, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> there we go, just one pearl in her hair. I think the fact that we've kind of done her up a little bit helps, doesn't it? And I'm going to have her upper torso stuck with some dimensionals. Oh, what's going on there? Perfect pearl placement. Cool, that's easy for you to say after a few, isn't it? Imagine, perfect pearl placement, perfect pearl placement. Okie dokie, here she is. Now I suppose we want that heart, oh, we mustn't have her tail sticking out too much. Because it's got to fill in an envelope. Right, let me just, before I stick her down, I'm just going to see if we should put her anywhere else. Maybe a little bit further up. Maybe add some of the purpley blue to the towel. I've added, ah, I've added a bit of the blue. Oh, I forgot to stick down the bottom half of her. Maybe add a little bit of purple, shall we? So again, using the glitter pen, and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Purpley blue to her tail. I've got a sort of funny pinky colour coming out, I think it's from the glitter. There, I think that will do. Let's have a look at that. Way <laughs> stream close up. I can't see the glitter. Let's get my light on. Look at that sparkly hair. Whoa, cool. So let's bring on the first one. And so we did the colourful elephant. We've got the nice mermaid. That's cool. Right, there's another, another, more, more, more. Let's see what we can come up with this time, shall we? Okay, again, going using my elements. Now, I really need some masculine cards, so I wouldn't mind using something of these, really, something masculine-y. Getting all the kind of masculine type things out. Couple of those. Got that. Got those. And I have been cutting, fussy cutting, some more nautical things if you wanted to. So, mountains and the balloons would work, kid. Mountains and the balloons. So, mountains. Yeah, they're kind of a different colour. That's the trouble. A bit too much of a contrast. So, let's have a look what we've got here. Okay, so I've started with my elements. I'm now going to see if I've got a kind of background to go with any of these. Hmm. See, that's quite standalone as well. Those blues and greens are quite fun. I could maybe do something with that. Got a bit of a blue and green theme going on. That's quite cool to do something with, maybe the... Ooh. Something a bit different. So we've got blues and we've got a kind of 
green and blue pile going on. I've got a lot of this paper. <laughs> and then I've got this background. That might be quite fun for the... Although you lose a lot of that lovely background. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, let's draw this down a bit because we've got a lot going on on this table. I'm quite drawn to this bluey one here. You could even cut the mountains away, they could be like the sea, couldn't they? I like these balloons with the Now that might look cool with the wood background <clears throat> okay, and then I saw, where's that one with the, that would look fun. Okay, so let's put the backgrounds away for a minute. Trouble is, you've got to resort your scraps all over again. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's look at the next elements of the cut. Oh, we've got those. Possibly, possible. Oh, where's my fish gone? <laughs> I'm determined to get the fish in the scene, aren't I? <laughs> Hi there, Sharon. Welcome. Actually, I've got a lot of um, wood type stuff here. These circles would look quite fun. That would be quite fun, like a porthole. So I'm thinking blues. And then I'm going to grab out my little elements basket to see if there's anything I want to add to that. So that's quite nice. That says celebrate. I've got a lot of flowers in this, so I don't think that would work. Got a navy strip. Oops. <laughs> Banging my head into my phone then. Okay, I think I'm just going to work with that and see what we can find. Just pulling out a few of these. Copper leaf there. Sorry if I'm missing comments, they do kind of tend to come in. Okay, oh, this little dude, I've got to feature him somewhere. Oh, look, I found his friend. I might take them out and see what we can, maybe we can stick him in the hot air balloon. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. We've got loads of hot air balloons here. Okay, let's put that to one side. I'm going to have a look at this blue one here. So we've got blues and coppers, got a bit of copper here, I've got a bit of copper here, let's have a look at the strips, see if there's anything we want to add, that looks as if it's come off there, I've got a navy bit there, another bit of navy, 
Oh, I've got this pretty blue strip and copper. Mm, copper strip. Yeah, I've got lots of these. Because I these were cut down from a swapper I did. Okay, cool. Right, let's see what we've got now, shall we? Could make two different cards. I like those. Okay, um, oh, I like the idea of a collage -y kind of card. Let's get out some navy. Let's see if I've got some already cut. And see how this is going to size up on a card. Now, I think I've used very vanilla. So let's see if I've got some. Oh, I've got this stripey. It's not going to work because it's white. We need a vanilla colour. I might trim this down. So if you like the look of this little trimmer, <laughs> incidentally, it's available if you sign up with Stampin' Up! at the moment. So for just £99... You can get this trimmer, gorgeous, cute little desktop trimmer. Um, you can choose a free stamp set of your choice. And um, what else? You get these packs of papers. I've got to refer to my brochure. You can get £130 worth of products for £99 plus the trimmer and the papers, plus a stamp set of your choice, and all for free shipping and a few business supplies. So if you want to um, join up for the offer, now is an amazing time to do it. Now I like the idea of these kind of... Now which way is the question? Do we go, I think, this way? And I like the idea of having some kind of stripes at the top there I think this is probably the quickest one one of the quickest ones I've done let's have a look so we're going to cut this down any questions feel free to ask especially if you are joining me today for the first time if you subscribe to my channel you can and um, press the bell button it means that you get notifications of when I'm coming live I add videos as well as do lives. Um, and my resolution is to use up my scraps. So this is what I'm hoping to do here today with you all. I could have that going across, can I? So I'm just going to trim this down. 
So who's got a load of scraps sitting on their table that needs using up? I'd love to see what you do. If you um, make anything with your scraps, I'd love to see. Um, head over to my Facebook page, which is the same name as my channel, Stampin' Star Creations. And you can share with me on there what you've been making, what you've been up to with your scraps. So who would have thought that a wooden tree stump would look so cool with a lighthouse? <laughs> So if you've just joined us, or if you've come in a little bit later, I'm using up my scraps, and I've already made two cards on here, which if you want to go back and watch, you can. Um, but I'll give you a little brief, I've got a bit of a nautical thing going on. We made a mermaid card and an elephant card. So I'm trying to encourage you to use up all those scrap bits that you have laying around on your table that I tend to get chucked in a box, tend not to get used. So I think I need to stick the circle down first. But I think we're quite frugal as crafters, we don't like throwing things away, which is understandable and I think it's a good concept to have, not to chuck things away if you can use it for something else. Is anyone out there crafting today? Has anyone got the Monday off to do some crafting? The edges of the copper look like looks like waves. Yes, that was my my thinking. It's amazing. I have the back of most. Um, if you use that strip at the top, tear it. This one here, or this one here. Which? Oh no, it's a copper one, wasn't it? Which strip? I was going to use a copper strip and a navy strip. Which one did you want me to tear? The solid blue one. Okay. I think I'm going to fit that. Oh, did I stick that down already? <laughs> So this is quite a good way of sticking vellum actually. Look, I folded a little tab around because I was going to use this on another card. So that's quite a neat way of hiding the vellum because you don't want to see glue on vellum. But if you create a little flap like that, it's a good way of sticking it down. And then what you want to do is put a little bit of glue strategically on places it's not going to show through basically. <gasps> Kay says she doesn't save scraps, she just bins them. <laughs> I, th I think the idea is, that, you know, I really want to use up my scraps so that I don't have... I was going to stick this blue one on, wasn't I? But I don't know if it'll go. Oh, let's leave that off, it's a different colour. Does anyone else chuck their scraps away and not use them? I think what I'm going to do is just cut off that bit of rope so it's tucked in. I mean, you don't get many scraps that way. Yep, that's, <laughs> that's one way of doing it. <laughs> I just, I think it's amazing what you can make from scraps, like how the cards come out. So differently because you wouldn't have normally put these things together. I think also like if you um because I run classes and stuff like that, I've or I experiment with cards, then there's always something that I don't know. Hey Bobby, great to see you. 
Look, you might like this card, it's a nautical one. So we're going to do a copper and then there's a suggestion of tearing. This, which I like. I would like to do one side so that it's going to match the other side. Now I will chuck this, you'll be pleased to know. <laughs> I'm just going to trim that one down. Thank you all for joining today. It's so nice to have a company. The children have gone back to school, the husband has gone back to work. This is my day off. Catching up with, oh, I'm going to cut that too much. Oh, no, I don't want to go, I've got too many layers. All right, all right. Cutting things that I shouldn't be cutting. <laughs> it's all going pear-shaped now. Yeah, so it's nice to have your company, everybody. Now, I think the copper needs to go in between. Like that, so like a navy stripe, like a nautical. Navy as in royal navy, as in navy as in sea, not as in the colour. Now, the good thing about this little trimmer is that this plastic guard here lifts up quite high. So though I've got all these dimensions, I can actually get, the whole card just as a guideline to fit under there oh thank you Cheryl hi all you didn't sleep last night plus I got to see Esther at the crack of dawn oh I'm sorry Bobby I didn't sleep very well last night maybe had the ton the torn bit overlap of the copper let's have a look what that looks like I could do that I like the gap glue it and then trim it yeah I could do that in the morning, I'm usually here. I don't work, unfortunately. In the evenings, go to bed early, so I never catch you and Ruth. Ah, oh. I'm going to leave the gap because I want it to fill the space. But thank you for your ideas. So, I'll, um, yeah, they're having a kind of strippy, stripy effect going on. So the background here, believe it or not, was sunflowers. I was trying out a kind of tie-dye effect. Um, with the, uh, a sunflower set. So, look, sunflowers turn nautical. Who'd have believed it, eh? I think also, um, having an element of metallic with a card um, really sets it off. It can make all the difference. I made a card, which I might have to show you, out of copper and black and white, um, which I was really particularly proud of. Actually, I made another one that I was proud of. Shall I show you now? I'll show you. I've, I've put them in my... Um, this card is your favourite so far. Good. This is one I made earlier. I've put it in my box to give to somebody. So black and white and copper, which I think is quite striking. I'm quite pleased with that one. And another one I made, which I love... Now this kind of eclectic one here. It's got a sparkle in unicorns. Or oh, unicorn. I'm thinking of giving that to one of my nieces. So, who's up for doing another one? Oh, I'm nearly hitting an hour. Three cards in an hour. Not bad when you're doing things from scratch. I think I'll make it my last one. And then we'll see. Um, <laughs> wow, times two. Thank you. Right, let's. Let's do another masculine. These little bears, oh, they're just so cute. You can sit them on a little wooden... I don't know, they're, I'm attracted to the bears. Quite like this, nice and quick and simple. Might do something with that. Let's get out some... Let's look at some more possible backgrounds. Oh, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, night Jenny, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, I've got another balloon. Great to have your company.
Oh, that might be quite fun on there. Um, let's see. Maybe not the flower, but it's sort of like purple mountains. The purple headed mountains. Do do do. Going on a bear hunt. <laughs> it is nearly 12 o'clock noon. 12 noon. Um, I've got some strips. That would make a cute anniversary card, actually, wouldn't it? See, I get sidetracked. I start one thing and then I see another. The joy of working with scraps. <coughs> Let's see if I've got any more copper leaves. Some bunting, that's cute. Add some more of that bunting somewhere. Another hot air balloon, they keep reproducing those hot air balloons. You are wonderful. Oh, it's a shame that's not in the, the uh, what do you call it, colour. Got a happy birthday. Another bit of bunting. I need one more piece of bunting. Oh, I've got a little twiggy. Oh, look. I like that. Now, do we need the more wood? No. Um. Oh, look, I got a love heart. Let's move these. Look, they can hold hands. This is so cute. Hooray, I get to use the bears. Um, let's see if we've got any, see if we can ground them on a strip of, a strip. See what I've got in here. That may be suitable. Anything, anything, anything. I could do anything. Do, 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 do. I don't have any brownie colour. Okey dokes, folks. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's put this together. I don't want to be on here for much longer. Let's take this off and trim it down. Lost my trimmer again. There you are. Gonna cut off that nice um, one thing I've done around the edges, but there you go. It wouldn't be a card otherwise, so. 
Let me just grab out some. Oh, what about some of this colour? To mute it a bit. It's nice. Okay, let's get sticking with these. I think let's see. Let's just see what the heart looks like in the middle. What do we reckon? Heart in the middle? I think it needs to be offset. Heart's almost too big. Maybe I should have a smaller heart. It's almost 6 a.m. Gracious. One noon, 10.55 in Melbourne. The ferns, the pretty shiny ones, blended back with crumb cake. The soft yellow strip with flowers. Sorry, I just I've done that thing again. That could work. Where did I have the heart up before? What are those pieces under the heart? So I've got um, a wooden stump and I've got the black. Oh look, let's take that away. Don't need that, it's too big. And I've got some bunting. Which I'm not sure about now. And I had some foliage. Um, let's see what else I got. Ah, oh, look, the best friend leaves a paw print on your heart. Have to go, no. So cute. Mm, a little bit busy up here. Let's take away the bunting. Let's put the heart back. Need some more foliagey bits. Don't have anything in my scraps. Got pale green. More foliage, less bunting. The little white pieces, do you mean those? Let's just move the... It's like lace along the... is that what you mean? Let's lose the copper one. Nope, that looks funny. Have the heart offset. I mean to the side. Yeah, mum ba dum bum bum. I think they need to be a little bit more grounded. I want them walking on something. This is why I might actually have to get some. Oh, what about a piece of ribbon? Um. Oh. 
Oh, the little bears, yeah. I think this might like look quite nice in the background behind me. Okay, I want to ground these bears, I think. Let's have a quick look at what I can grab. Let's see if I've got something in my baskets <laughs> first, and then I'm nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay, let me just, sorry. Gonna see if I can tear a little bit of early espresso just to ground the bears a bit. Hmm. What do we think? And then I'll have a sentiment at the bottom, I think. I think that probably needs to be in the centre, so it's all centered. Okay, I'm going to get on and stick because I'm going to be here forever otherwise. <laughs> um, I'm going to put some of this at the back. I think with, with scraps, sometimes my trouble is like you kind of run out of bits and pieces. But like I said, you can mix and match. You can grab out your stamps. You can, um, I don't have any nails to pick this up. You can, you know, don't feel that you've got to use all the elements, you know, just use one feature and then you can go from there. Oh, I'm in a sticky mess. And, you know, use your ribbons and your embellishments and your um, pearls and your diamantes and things to, to help um, decorate. So let's work on that heart, I think. And we're going to ground these bears on a bit of wooden plank. <laughs> Make sure it's straight. Add some leaves. So if you're just joining, I can see um, people joining. Um, I'm just using up my paper scraps that I've gone through and sorted out. I'm trying to use them up to make new cards so that I don't have a box full of scraps going to waste and sitting there and doing nothing. So we've managed to make about three to four cards in the hour, which isn't bad considering, you know, you're starting from scratch and you're using what you've got. I'm gonna pop these little bad boys up. Try and 
to and think where to put this heart. You might need to go on the log itself. Let's have a look. I want these guys to like hold hands. Do you know what? I just had an idea. I want her to have a little bit of a blush around her cheeks. I won't use a glitter pen. Let me just use... This might be too bright. <laughs> That's so cute. Just a little bit of blush. There we go. I'm going to stick the bottom halves down and then because these little pop up dimensionals, they're going to, whoops, come back. There we go. So the heads pop up, but they are standing. I've been wanting to use these guys for ages. There, look. Should we have them a little slant? <laughs> I'm going to see what this looks like on a darker card. Or we could go a double layer. Because this is a heavier card, I'm going to find a different fold. That was a tent fold with, I want it to open this way. That's better. Okay, I'm just going to trim down my card. Just a little bit too big for my little trimmer. Get out the big trimmer. Can you tell that I'm not measuring? I do like to just guesstimate. <laughs> there, I think that's quite cute. I like that. I like to make a nice anniversary card. So this is all helping me prep my cards for the year. I normally make cards for the person, you know, literally weeks before or a week before or whatever. But at least this way, I'm a bit more prepared and I can get my cards sorted. Let me just scroll back. Oh, I keep missing. Use a tree ring background to punch more leaves out. You have had so such on should live flowers. Do the soft leaves on top of the bright more harmony in colour. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I did think about the softer leaves, but then I thought actually... It might look bolder with the other leaves. I'm so sorry. It's because I um I blame it on not having my other device with me. I'm really sorry about that. Hi there, Zoe. Great to have your company. Okay, there we go. So there's the bears, the anniversary bears, the nautical copper and navy. Then we did a pretty pink mermaid. And then we did the colourful elephants in with the sunset. In fact, I feel like this needs more now. I'm looking at it. I wanted to keep it quite masculine, but um I don't think it is. It's a bit more girly than it is masculine, isn't it? If it's worth adding another circle. It's your card, Esther. Thank you. <laughs> Love the bears. Thank you. Great variety. Thank you. I know it's my card, but I'm here to share it with you. Tempted to stick that down. It needs something else. You love the bears and the sea card. Ah, oh, great. I'm going to stick this down because, because I can. I just needed a bit more of a colour in there. Like three moons. 
<laughs> there, okay, here goes. Thank you so much for your company, everybody, and thank you for sticking with me. It's been quite a long one, so I don't blame you if you fast forward this on the replay. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the process. I hope it's made sense to help sort out your scraps, sort them out into sizes, get a focal point. I hope these tips have helped you to clear your craft desk and to maybe raid that scrap box and give you inspiration to make some cards yourself. If you do make anything, do um, send me a picture on Stampin' Star Creations on my Facebook page or by email. Um, I hope you have a really good day. I'm going to go off and find out who I'm going to give these cards to and see what else I can maybe come up with or uh, need to sort my craft desk out. Thank you again. Take care, everybody. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Do subscribe if you're not subscribing already so you can catch me again another time. Take care. God bless. Hope you have an amazing day. Bye. Oh, thank you, Kay. Bye, Sharon. Thank you. Thanks, Karen. Sorry, I am trying to sign out. I've got to press the button. <laughs>